Okay, so I'm back. Um, I decided to start filming again because I was like, hmm, why not? Because once I do this again, it's going to be weird. So y'all remember how I cleaned out the baby's toy room? Like I said, I wanted to rearrange. So this is actually going to end up being our room. And remember how I did this whole floor? Well, I got to come up. We're going to be putting this in the new baby's room. <laughs> So that means I actually have to clean out this closet and all that stuff that I put in here, including these shelves. So I have to pick up all this stuff and I'm going to go ahead and put it in that box and slide it out the way because I got to prepare this room to put the bed in here. All right, so don't kill me, but this is not as difficult as it might about to look. So we are still in the playroom. It is about an hour later and look what I did. So I have taken out the play mat and put the bed set, our bedroom set in here. So if you look, this is the same room, same room. And it's not as heavy as it looks. It comes down to pieces, it's pretty light. And I put it in here all by myself. So I was really worried that we wasn't going to have a decent amount of space in here. But it is. I can walk in here. And this is a queen size bed. And it works. So this won't be in here. We'll take this out. The TV's going on the wall. And possibly even put the dresser in here. So we'll see how that goes. But I want to give you a bit of an update. I'll be back when I get the beds and all that stuff set up. All right, so it's a little bit later, actually, quite, about three, four hours later. And I want to show you more of the progression. I don't remember where we were, but I do remember showing you that room. But I'm about to get ready, call it a night. It is probably like 8 o'clock or something like that. David's home, the baby's home. Don't I look tired? I am tired. But let's show, say good. Let me show you the... You coming over here? You coming over here, baby? You coming to me? You coming to me? You coming to me? Come on. Come in. Come on. Come on. She's like, you gonna pick me up, though? You gonna pick me up, though? Yeah, I'm coming. Hold on. Yeah, they are home. Nala is naked, baby. Use the naked baby. Yeah, she's the naked baby. She's about to put on her night clothes. But I did a little bit of straightening up. I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before. Um, and why do I feel like something happened with my decorations over there? Yeah, he just fixed it. But this is just an idea of what it's looking like right now. I just put up a couple of stuff that we got the other day. We've been had those little light up candle thingies, but we put black Santa up there with the little baby tree. And this was looking like uh only thing I gotta do is figure out a way to cover up new cords better. Probably get that white plate thing or something. I don't know, but this is kind of what our TV thing is looking like right now, but I have a lot more cleaning to do. Uh, they got home, now they play in the living room while you watch TV, which is fine. I don't think I ever showed you guys my little stocking holder thing. It's called, it's say Mary and Bright, and we got our three socks, which in turn, we forgot to get <laughs> the new baby stocking when we went to at home. <laughs> Here go Nala while I go show the chaos in the room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You always mess with her hair. Yeah, take this bird up. Now, also, I end up putting the computer stuff right there, which is surprisingly better than I thought it would. What do you think? David tired. It's like that space is being utilized. Mm hmm and hopefully the goal of it being right there is to actually um, utilize 
the editing being able to edit and watch the baby at the same time because I used to have it way over here over there on the dinette table but a lot of times I have to get up and check on her when she's over here and it's just a whole lot a whole lot of so let me show you a little bit of chaos now don't judge the room is chaotic it's hectic but I wanted, wanted to show you guys that I moved everything out and there's a lot more space but all the stuff that was underneath our bed and all that is still in the middle of the floor but let me show you that really quickly but like i said it is pretty hectic in here but it's a lot of space so this is what it's looking like that's everything that was kind of under the bed so i just kind of threw certain things i dragged her furniture in here it just looks like we're moving <laughs> that's what it looks like and essentially we are um and the closet is pretty hectic i've been getting rid of a lot of stuff i think in the next couple of days things will look a lot better but yeah i just want to show you the as that oh let me show you really quickly what the temporary nursery room is going is looking like it's just the nursery bed here and um the bed so i was planning on moving this in her nursery room but right now i think it's all right because now we can have moments where if we want to lay in the bed with her or lay in the same room we can uh our room is right there so it's pretty close so this is the bed this is where she'll temporarily be but i'm not ready to necessarily um, sleep without her at least for tonight so i'm gonna sleep in here plus the fan in here and that room don't have a fan and this is our new tv we love that samsung tv like oh my gosh um so we're gonna sit here and watch youtube videos tonight but i just wanted to show you guys that because i mean that's a big part of it so yeah all done so Really do appreciate get guys watching uh, more of a successful glucose uh, today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alrighty then. So I know you've seen the title of this video. And we're moving <laughs> out of our master room. So it's official. It's done. I have mentioned it a couple of times. I know people think I'm crazy, but to each his own and you live your life. So it's been a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. And I know the vlogs may be a little choppy, whatever. It's just a lot of transition right now. And I don't have a lot of time. David doesn't have a lot of time. So a lot of times when we do got the time, we just kind of got to get a bunch done. And a lot of times vlogging just procrastinates a lot of the process. And right now I don't even have time to be doing it now. But I don't want to miss out on telling you guys what's going on. So like I said, we are moving out of the room. Oh, speaking of which, so this is actually the living room TV that's going to be in the girls' room. So the plan is to set up the room preparing for both girls. In a lot of ways, in the next couple of months, this room will be a little bit slightly underutilized. And that's because we have decided to um, move Nala into the guest room temporarily. And then we moved already our furniture into the next room. I believe I did show that, but I don't, I don't remember where we left off. But this room, I am basically making the new nursery. So, so let me show you what it's looking like right now. As you can see, the room is pretty empty. So I did take this out of her closet. That is her little like bookcase situation. That's just a box of her toys. Uh, I end up getting this uh, Halo basket off of Marketplace. Shout out to my dad. And it was like 60 bucks. So I decided to get it instead of my registry. And that was a really good deal. I couldn't pass it up. So... I talked my dad into getting it for me as well as this which you can't really see because this is the actual like blanket to the halo but I end up getting this or my dad got the snuggle me organic and someone was selling that for 40 bucks 
which is mind blowing uh, and it was barely used. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. The plan is to put that inside a halo basket. May not be the safest in your opinion, but you do you. Um, so yeah, and the plan is to put the nursery day bed here. One of these are going in the guest bedroom because there's a lot of light in there in the morning. And then this is going into our room and then we need to get new blinds for that. And this is David's chest, which is going in our room. So clearly you can see, even though it looks like life threw up over here, this is a lot more space. Look at the closet. It, I'm planning on today clearing this out, cleaning this up, trying to get the day bed in here. Yes, I am doing it by myself. I just, I don't know. I have a problem with waiting on people to help me with stuff when I can feel like I can do it myself. But I also feel like I can do all things. So, <laughs> not all things, but you know what I'm saying. So, let me show you a little bit of the house kind of other stuff even though this is not the time to be showing house because the house is a mess david decided to bless himself with a 70 inch tv look at that look at that that's crazy but to each his own child you do you um uh, i think the first thing that i want to do is start break down the day bed and then get it in here because that room her new her nursery, her old nursery is like so out of sync. Well, I make it sound so dramatic, but hold on. Had to stop and get me a little bit of a moving snack. So I got my pineapples, got my orange juice. I think this is pretty good. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, to be honest. I don't even know how to break this down, how to start the process because we didn't put it up. We actually paid for someone to put it up, so. Mm. But one thing I do know, gonna have to break it down in order to get it out the door. So let me just take everything off and then get things to pop in. So this is what I got to so far. I've taken the bottom trindle out and then now, as you can see, all the fun grass situation has followed and fall off from people coming in here, playing on the bed, wiping their weaves. But I'm really in debate if I'm gonna trash this or not. I'm definitely gonna still keep this thing situation, but this was never meant to be permanent, but made it kind of a permanent situation but that was exactly why i didn't intend for it to be permanent because i knew this wasn't gonna stay on there so i don't know i'm like putting it off to really like consider anything but this is how far i got so time to figure out how to get this out of there Starting to be if I want it over there instead. Like it's taking up a lot of floor space. Yeah, I think that's what I want.
All right, so I finally finished the bed situation, making it up or whatever, and this is what it's looking like. And yeah, so I'm not 100% happy with the pillow situation and decor. It's not really set up how I want to, but it's too much going on right now to even be worried about this. But it's there, it's made, it's situated. Now it's time to basically get the other parts of the room together. But let's take a look at the space that we're gonna have. And that's what it's looking like now. The biggest thing is making this room functional because right now we're going to multiple rooms to get ready for work in the morning. So I needed this to be out of the way so I can start cleaning up. So I need to get this out of here and put it in our other room. So I think I'm gonna take all his clothes out right now so that I can be able to drag this to the other room. So let's do that. <laughs> Look who's on. Look who's on. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Ugh. Hey, baby. How you doing? How you like your new room? Well, technically, it's your room. Oh, what you doing? 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 Yeah. You better stand up, girl. She's been trying to stand. Where you going? Where you going? Where you crawling to? Huh? Where you crawling to? Where you crawling to? So, she's home. David's walking the dog, so I have gotten a decent amount of stuff done, but there's still more to do. But I have to bring the training table in here, so I have to see where I'm going to place it in order to put all these diapers up. The funny thing is, is that Nala is almost 10 months and we still haven't bought diapers yet, so that lets me know we did a pretty great drop, job in uh couponing and making sure that we wasn't going to be buying diapers so i need to get back on the couponing when it comes to baby stuff because i want it to be the same as that situation when it comes to the new baby so we're going to have a situation where there's going to be two babies in diapers so i really need to be like stocking and getting on point when it comes to couponing and i'm being very lazy i know usually in the beginning of the year um they usually start again with the coupon on baby stuff i did do a little bit of couponing when i went to go get these diapers so i did have to exchange those diapers for a bigger size but in turn they were having a deal on uh, formula uh ready to feed formula which is what i'm planning on giving the new baby um until i'm comfortable with giving her powder formula so i've been stocking up a little bit on that i only got about seven bottles but i definitely need to do more so I need to start back doing that. So I need to send myself a reminder to start buying coupons. Uh, we are planning on giving all these pillows away. That was our old couch pillows. And I'm planning on giving away a bunch of stuff to Salvation Army. I'd rather do Salvation Army than Goodwill because I remember being in the shelter and Salvation Army really did help us out with like clothes and stuff like that that was donated instead of like really focusing on selling even though they do sell um I just want to make sure that the downtown and metropolitan kids are one of the ones that gets most of the clothes so um Salvation Army actually does uh pick up so I plan on giving up my old makeup desk all these pillows back full of clothes and shoes and whatever else i can find <laughs> and uh this cleanup process move process because i am trying to uh do better about hoarding not really but really 
and see what happens but i need to find a place for this uh changing table so that we can get that on point and yeah that should be about it why you keep trying to pull out my boob child you ain't had that in a long time so i'm gonna sit here clean a little bit until david gets back and then i think i'm gonna try to figure out this location okay <laughs> figure out this new location of this changing table so yeah i just wanted to check in really quickly on that